we're going to explore the menu bar and the desktop. So we're going to go to the upper left of our menu bar and click the Apple icon. We're going to look at About This Mac. This is the same idea as on your iPad when you're looking at the About section in your settings. So the overview is going to tell you what version of the OS X you are running. Currently I'm running El Capitan, which is version 10.11.3, and it tells me the details about my MacBook, tells me what is inside of it, tells me my serial number. So if you ever need the serial number for your MacBook, this is the easiest place to find it. It is also located on the bottom near the back. Displays will tell you what kind of display it has and what it is running, and you can open your display preferences from here. The next one is going to be storage, which tells you the actual memory that is inside of your device that you can save to. I have an older Mac and I do not have the flash drive based um, memory that most of the MacBook Airs have. So mine actually has a moving piece and moving parts for its memory. It is a little bit larger in its save space, but it does have moving parts. I also have an optical drive for CDs in this one, which is something that you would not see on a Mac Air. Whenever you look at this, it is going to show you a breakdown of what is being saved where and how much space is being taken up from each one of the things that you are using. The memory is actually the RAM memory and how fast things can process. Support is something we actually do not need, but if you need to, you can go in here and see the user manual. And then finally, service is something that we really don't actually have to get into because of the way that we're set up in the county. But that is the place that you will find the information about your Mac and how much save space that you actually have available. If you move across the top of the menu bar, you'll notice I have Google Drive added here. This is an AirPlay preference where if I have something I can AirPlay to, such as an Apple TV. This is my time capsule backup. Next I have Bluetooth. If there's something I want to connect my Bluetooth to, I can do it here. I can open the preferences and I can turn Bluetooth off. The next one is Wi-Fi. Notice I'm actually in um, at my house right now, so I have all these different Wi-Fi options available. I can choose them, I can open my network preferences from here, and I can turn off the Wi-Fi. Volume is next. I do have a manual slider on my volume bar. Battery shows my percentage, so it shows that it's charging. Then I have the date and the time. If you ever want to change the style and view of the date and time, you can simply click on it and change it to analog, digital, or you can open the date and time preferences in the system preferences to change that. Next one is Spotlight Search. Spotlight Search is available and it will allow me to search anything that I choose based on what I'm looking for. So let's say that I wanted to search for a Keynote presentation or the app Keynote. I could actually begin to type in Keynote. It will prompt me if I wait just one second. It will actually start to bring up the things that that has connected to it. It will show documents, folders, presentations, mail, messages, images, anything like that. Finally is my Notification Center. So the Notification Center will be there along with the Today's View so I can see my, what's on my calendar, social, and things like that that I can add to the Notification Center. When we move to the actual desktop, the desktop is different than a PC desktop in the sense that you will not ever find an application or a program on the desktop of your MacBook. All you will find on the desktop are documents and folders of documents you can save pretty much any document that exists to the desktop but you will never see a program or an app being on the desktop inherently for instance whenever I'm on a PC if I want to open Firefox I may have the icon on my desktop and I double click the icon and it will open Firefox on a Mac I will never double click on the desktop to do that I will go to my actual launch pad where all of my apps live and I can open Firefox from here I will not have Firefox on my desktop itself because it's, it's read as an application and not a document or a file that I could be saving. If I want to add a new folder to the desktop, I can secondary click and add a new folder. I can change the background. I can change by sort by and I can show my view options. So if I wanted to put a folder within a folder, it functions the same way as it does on a PC. Let's say that I wanted to change or move my park folder and put it into uh, the iBook Author resources for whatever reason. I could simply hold it over there and it would move it to that folder. Thank you for watching this video. Please explore our other modules on the WCPS Professional Learning site.